Happy Monday, everybody. Pastor Dan here. Excited to share just a little bit with you through our weekly Monday memo. We're going to uh, wrap up our study of the book of Exodus at Calvary Littleton in the next two weeks. Uh, This week, we're going to look at Exodus chapter 34. And Exodus 34 really is just one of the most amazing chapters in the whole Bible. Uh, In Exodus chapter 33, which we looked at this past Sunday at Calvary, Moses asks God to show him his glory. Moses says, show me your glory. And then the Lord responds to Moses and says, "Um, you you can't see my face and live, but I'm going to hide you in the cleft of the rock and I'm going to cover you with my hand and I'm going to let all my goodness pass before you. And, uh, and, And then in Exodus 34, the Lord passes before Moses. And as he passes before Moses, God speaks. And in his speaking, God shows Moses his glory. So he speaks and the glory of God comes out through the word of God. The words of God display the glory of God as God speaks to Moses. And what God says about himself in Exodus 34 is is really incredible. I want to read to you how the Lord describes himself to Moses And as I read these words, hear them this morning, and and then I pray uh, this week you'll spend time reading these couple verses, maybe over and over and over again. I pray that you might even memorize these verses, that you would write them down on a note card or write them down someplace where you can take them with you throughout this week, just to be reminded each day who God really is, that you would hear uh, the glory of God through these words, and then you're hearing you would see the glory of God, the glory of who our God really is. So hear what God says about himself in Exodus chapter 34. The Lord passed before Moses and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, but who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generations. This is who our God is. Merciful, gracious, abounding, just full of love and faithfulness. Also just, a God who takes sin very seriously doesn't play games with sin, desires us to give our whole selves to him in worship and obedience, but a God who loves, and a God who loves sinners like us who take responsibility for our sins, trust Jesus in faith, give ourselves to him fully. Pray this week that you'll uh, just read these words, hear these words, Spend time with these words and hear from God the truth of his glory. Just a couple of reminders this week about uh, things that are coming up here in the next few weeks uh, at Calvary Littleton. On May 20th, we're going to have a vacation Bible school information meeting at 3.30 p.m. So right before our worship gathering, Sunday, May 20th, 3.30, we'll have a, a short information meeting about vacation Bible school. If you're interested in volunteering, serving at that event, we'd love to have you come and hear more about it. If you'd like to learn more about our Vacation Bible School because you're thinking about having your kids come and be a part of it or you want to invite some friends uh, or their kids to come, please come to that meeting on May 20th at 3.30. Also, the week of uh, May 21st, so that next week uh, after the VBS meeting on the 20th, our community groups are going to meet for the last time this spring. So uh, community groups will meet the week of May 21st. That'll be their last meeting for the spring. And then we're going to take a little break over the summer. As usual, we're going to encourage our community groups to try to get together once a month uh, in June, July, and August just to do something fun, to meet at a park, eat some food, maybe go to the pool, uh, take in a baseball game together, just do something fun once a month uh, to stay connected to each other over the summer. Uh, But we also want to free up a little bit more space for you uh, this summer just to be able to enjoy uh, some extra rest, some some time with uh, friends, family, Uh, just to enjoy the summer here in Colorado. Uh, Also, uh, our summer outreach, our uh, Beyond the 90 soccer camp is going to be happening June 25th 
through the 29th, June 25th through the 29th. You've been hearing a little bit about that on Sundays. We're going to have more information available this Sunday if you would like to uh, register your child or if you'd like to invent, invite some friends, uh, we'll have registration forms available. Beyond the 90 is a uh, camp for kids in kindergarten this year through uh, kids in eighth grade this year. So if, you're, if your child is in kindergarten or uh, up through the eighth grade, they can participate. The cost is $25 per camper with a maximum of $50 per family group. Uh, we'll have information available on how to volunteer at the camp as well. And uh, we'll also be able to, you'll be able to register to volunteer uh, on Sunday uh, at Calvary Littleton. So that's all for now. Hope you have a great week. Uh, pray that you will uh, spend time this week uh, hearing from God in his word. Uh, maybe even spend some extra time in Exodus 34 this week in preparation for uh, our meeting on Sunday where we're going we're gonna to preach through that chapter together and uh, spend time with our glorious, gracious, and great God. I love you and uh, have a great week.